Hey guys, welcome to RPP. Today we want to give you a brief look at a typical mocap assessment, but first I want to introduce you to the team. So, from Rutgers, Master of Science, we have Sophie Beyer, Master's in Biomechanical Engineering. Her assistant is our data intern, Noah Landau, finishing up his Master's in Analytics at Northwestern. And my, our RPP strength coach, Ed Howard, is being kind enough to film this. So, uh, Let's get it started. So here we have Ed and Noah applying markers to our pitcher. There are 48 markers total, with seven of them being on the mound itself and 41 on the athlete's body. We stick them on using a quick dry adhesive uh, just to reduce any movement um, from the skin. So here the athlete is doing a functional calibration. Uh, this allows us to make sure all the markers are in place and gives the computer a good idea of the athlete's stature and physical characteristics before the motion capture even starts. So now we film 15 to 20 throws. Uh, you usually use all fastballs unless a different kind of pitch is being analyzed. And we film at 300 frames per second. So after all the throws are captured, we take them into the computer and we start connecting all the bones. The computer does a pretty good job of it itself, but once in a while it needs some help. From this, we use the position data to back out metrics that tell us a lot about how the athlete is throwing, what needs to be fixed, and what we can do to get them at maximum performance. By connecting all the lines to form bones, we can extrapolate the position of the skeleton throughout the pitch. Uh, this gives us how all the joints are moving and also makes it very visually intuitive for coaches, for the athletes themselves, and for anyone who may be assessing. After all data has been collected, a report is generated, broken down into arm movement, trunk movement, lower half movement, angular velocities, and kinematic sequencing, which is then sent to either me or one of my pitching coaches, where a analysis is compared with video, and a game plan for them both in the tunnel and in the weight room can be generated.